I'm about to have a lot of free time on my hands. So today is the first day that I've technically been affected by the coronavirus. Kind of Friday, but not really. So all this week, I won't be at work. Um, next week, I get to go back to work. And then the week after that, from what my boss told me, I probably won't be working then either. So what I've decided to do in all of this free time, I'm still gonna be doing all my streams, of course. But I thought about doing a day-to-day -day throughout the week. <laughs> of the life of Tombles. I'm also gonna be trying to do like a, a tasting with Tombles possibly this weekend if I can actually get everything going on there. But definitely gonna be doing a lot of different things. Uh, so far today, uh, well technically this morning last night I beat Mortal Kombat 10, started Mortal Kombat 11. I've taken my dog for a walk and I don't know what else I'll do. I'm gonna be periodically jumping in and out of this, grabbing this camera, just doing a little vlog action, talking to the camera, maybe checking some of my collections out. Who knows what I'll do? Me even take the camera out on the road and do a little fast food adventure or something. Who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna definitely try to keep you entertained and me as well and try my best to not go crazy during all of this stuff. I have a lot of free time on my hands and I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. We'll see. So day two, being out of work. Uh, I'm already bored. I'm in a weird spot. I had to go sign up for unemployment. Um, and the way things it looks, I won't be working the week after next week either, which is subject to change, but I guess we're going to see on that one. I don't really know. Um, things are definitely boring, though. Yesterday, I didn't do anything but play Mortal Kombat. Today I'm about to play more Mortal Kombat and keep up the streams, of course. I am also incredibly craving Taco Bell right now, and uh, I may succumb to that one day this week. We'll see. Also, I'm still thinking about the tasting with Tombles this weekend. Hopefully that'll work out. Hopefully it's a lot of fun. Been thinking about making it a little different. I don't know. We'll see in the days to come. So, day three of no work. Also, update on my state here in Georgia today on April 1st, they have officially uh, announced that this Friday they'll be doing a shelter in place act like many other states. So, not really going to be doing a whole lot. More of these videos, more of a compilation uh, of things and things I'm doing in my spare time. Uh, currently today, all I've done is gotten trash ready to take out, <laughs> played more Mortal Kombat, and I'm currently in the mood for fried Ross. So I've been cooking Ross, and I'm just kind of letting it chill out for a little while. I don't want to wait a whole day. I know typically with fried Ross, a lot of people use day-old Ross, and I don't want to wait a whole day, so I'm just kind of like letting it chill. So... We'll see how that's gonna go. Um, don't really know what else I'm gonna be doing during a lot of this time. More gaming, more streaming, of course. Um, hanging out with Choco, of course, who's been enjoying my time at home very, very generously. And uh, hopefully things do get better. Still want to try to do a tasting with Tombles video. Don't know if I'll actually get to. I'm um, gonna try to though, gonna hopefully be able to do a lot more, we'll see. I'm um, driving myself kind of crazy, staying at home so much. I have been going to see Stacy when I can and will continue to do so, but yeah, these videos. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be interesting though. Um, I'm actually gonna kind of prepare for the shelter in place. It doesn't go into effect until Friday, so I'm getting myself prepared. And this weekend we're gonna get Stacy a little bit more prepared as well and uh, make sure she has everything at her place. And tomorrow is my day. I'm gonna get a few things that are essential and one thing that technically isn't essential. 
Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker came out yesterday and I gotta go pick up a copy. I have like every single one of the films except for, well, that one. I mean, as you can see, actually maybe you can see, I don't know how well you can see, but I've got all the Star Wars films. I've got, yeah, I'm all in the line. Anyway, I've got them all. I can't not get that one. Plus, I know a lot of them are already on like Disney Plus, but you know, I'm a Star Wars fan, much like so many other things. I even have a little corner up here dedicated with Yoda, Stormtrooper, old Darth Vader. You can tell I'm bored. I'm bored. Anyway, tomorrow's day four, and they also told me today at work that I might not be going back to work next week either, so there'll be more of these and such. I don't know. We'll see how it's going to go. I'm definitely going to keep you in touch again, definitely going to keep streaming and everything else, and hopefully things do work out, but we'll see. Day four tomorrow. So it's day four. Um, I gotta go out and get some stuff today. I was talking about it yesterday. And uh, some things are essential, some things are non essential. And I'm just kind of wanting to see how crowds are gonna be. I'm gonna take the camera out on the road and talk a little bit. And hopefully it's a good day. We'll see. And uh, let me get some footage of some stuff. And I'm just, you know, I'm gonna be talking more and fighting demons on what food to get and such. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, as I was saying yesterday, that actually right now, <clears throat> technically it starts tomorrow, the uh, shelter in place here in my state in Georgia. So gonna see what that's like. <sighs> Usually everybody around here goes full on panic mode. And I don't know, we'll see what it's gonna be like. It's kind of a social experiment. We'll see and I'll keep recording. So, I'm out on the road. Uh, my plan is to actually, the biggest plan is to get Star Wars uh, The Rise of Skywalker. And I'm curious to actually see what I'm gonna expect. Um, my expectations are there's gonna be a lot of people out panic buying. I live in a small town, I talk about it a lot, and uh, I always have to go to like the next town over most of the time to get the things that I need for home. I uh, also gotta pick up some cat food and you know some random like snack foods and just stuff that'll hold me over for a little while um i'm gonna be going out sunday again uh to get some more things with stacy and uh we'll see how that turns out i'll probably talk about it if i don't get to work again next week then i'm probably going to be doing another one of these videos and i'll be talking about how that went on sunday uh so far i've seen a lot of people out for sure so i'm definitely expecting uh, when I get to the next town for it to be very packed, stores probably very packed, people panic buying. I do actually have to get some food stuff, so I'm gonna go to a different place. Uh, I'm like just literally going to a Walmart right now to pick up uh, Star Wars and then pick up the cat food, but not my groceries. Oh no, it seems like places like Walmart, uh, places where you can buy things in bulk stuff like that seem to be the places that get picked clean first uh, When all this first started going down I noticed like people were not hitting up dollar stores People were not hitting up like just places that were just generally cheaper than other places It, it was just all the places that were being hit in bulk all the places that were like just essentially uh, easy pickup one-stop shops like Walmart so I'm gonna be kind of prowling around, looking around on my own, uh, scouring eye, uh, so to speak, seeing what I can find, and who knows, maybe it won't be that bad, maybe my expectations won't be met, which would be a good thing, honestly. I don't wanna see, when I get to the next town, just a bunch of people out panic buying things and just like rummaging around, fighting over toilet paper rolls again. I, I'm hoping at this point, through all of this pandemic, that we are past that, but, my brain and judging about how small town human anatomy seems to work around here i'm probably more so right than wrong when i'm just expecting a large crowd of people fighting over essential things so to speak uh but i could be wrong i don't know we'll see and uh i gotta say it's been a really really nice day out uh i mean you can just see like 
it's super nice, it's green, it's sunny, 64 degrees, really nice day, and uh, maybe I could enjoy it, and I would love that. We'll see though, uh, I'll definitely be reporting back in on this video, it's kind of the whole point, just a compilation videos of my week, what I'm going through, uh, the things I'm doing. I've always loved the look of this, look of this lake. Fun fact, there was a party out on this uh, lake, pond, whatever you want to call it, beautiful, I know, a uh, party out there where my mom actually met my dad. Fun fact. So my first impression, there's a lot of people out, and I mean a lot of people out. So far, social distancing fail. Walmart, packed, not as packed as I thought it would be. I mean, obviously there's like empty places literally in front of my car, but still packed. Haven't even went inside yet, about to, and then you'll get a good review on what it's like in there. So I totally scored. This movie came out just like, what, three days ago? It's already on sale. Uh, that goes without saying, uh, like, uh, I'm leaving Walmart right now, and, uh, there's a lot of things on sale. Uh, I guess people are just mainly buying food stuffs, uh, essential goods. There, there's, like, shirts in there for a dollar. I mean, there's, it, like, everything's on sale in Walmart right now, except for food. Um, so, as a review, how crazy was it? <sighs> okay, it, I thought it was going to be crazier, I'll say that. Uh, when I went inside... There was quite a bit of people, yeah, but they have like this weird lawn set up. You know how you can go to your usual Tom's, going to your local Walmart. People are going in the exit. People are exiting the entrance. You know, it's, it's crazy. Legitimately, they have like caution tape all around the door and buggies lined up inside the caution tape and somebody's standing at the exit. So you have to use the entrance while they have signs that say everybody's six feet apart. And this is the first time during all this where I've noticed that people, like, so many people are wearing a mask and uh, gloves. People are using, like, the uh, the Germex that's set out for uh, public use. Don't get me wrong. I know it kills germs, but it only kills so many germs. So it's not always the safest thing ever to, you know, use Germex publicly. Um, all the playgrounds are closed down in our area. Which is a good thing, honestly. Uh, just last week, somebody was coming through this exact street, this exact area, that exact park, and it was just like swarming with children climbing all over it. And um, I mean, they finally closed it down, kind of. I mean, it's got caution tape all around it, and some people just don't listen to that. Hopefully, people will. So far, I'm impressed that it isn't so bad. I'm about to go to the grocery store that I like to actually shop at, uh, Kroger which I actually heard that they raised the wages of like all the employees two bucks. So good job Kroger for caring about your employees. A lot of those people have to go out, have to work. These are the, the essential workers you're hearing about. A lot of people are afraid about it, but all of them are getting paid $2 more now on their actual annual salary. Not just, you know, $2 on the end of the paycheck, but $2 an hour extra as a raise, which is very, very awesome. Another thing, you know, you've got people out here exercising still, which is really nice, but everybody's, you know, somewhat keeping their distance. And uh, that, that's really nice to see people have got their pets out. Um, most people are actually abiding by the rules, which surprised me the most. When this first hit our area, people went into full panic mode. Um, my girlfriend did tell me, though, that there's some places like raising prices on food, you know, stuffs and uh, essential goods. And that's, that's terribly wrong. Hopefully that doesn't become a thing. I know that... That was supposed to be a big thing that isn't supposed to happen. But uh, I guess we'll see. Everybody's been kind of friendly, too. Uh, I guess a <laughs> global pandemic brings out the best in people. Not a bad thing, so to speak. But I'm going to go to Kroger. Again, it's, it's my favorite grocery store, mainly just because they have more of the things that I'm into as far as my taste buds go. I, am, uh, I'm, I wouldn't say a picky eater, but an adventurous eater. And even in a time like this, I still like the things that I like. So, I'm gonna head there, and after that I'll give a, another good review and a ride back home and see how that's gonna go. Uh, I haven't been to this side of town yet either, so we'll see how crazy that is, I guess. Who knows? Maybe it won't be too bad, though. So far it hasn't been too bad. I've been impressed. Well, I'm leaving Kroger. Uh, it actually wasn't too bad. It, it was very packed. Toilet paper in Kroger is gone. 
Um, it, it's actually more packed than what Walmart was. And they're actually just kind of like, instead of doing this space thing, having signs telling people to keep six feet apart, they're just kind of like jumping on the intercom periodically, telling people to remember to social distance. It's somewhat working, somewhat not. Uh, legit though, this is the time to be buying ice cream. Like all ice cream is on sale. It was that way at Walmart. It was that way at Kroger. Like. Seafood is still a thing people really aren't buying as well, I've noticed. Uh, people are really going to get a lot of the meats, a lot of the sandwich meats. But I got a lot of seafood. I got like some calamari, I've got some salmon, I've got some shrimp. Uh, literally, I just kind of decided to just go seafood shopping and uh, tortillas as well. A lot of people are buying bread, not a lot of people are buying tortillas. So, I don't know. The, the diversity of people's taste buds in a pandemic just never eludes me or maybe it does I don't know anyway uh I've got like one more stop and I'll probably just pick this back up tomorrow maybe I've got to get out and got to go pay bills tomorrow so I'll probably just pick this back up then rather than continue this journey like I said I've only got like one more stop and uh, <laughs> it's basically uh it's a toilet paper run Anyway, uh, I know exactly where I'm gonna go. It's one of the places that's been basically, people avoid these places during this times and they, they've got everything still and it's the dollar store. So, and there's one of those like a mile from my apartment. So I'm gonna go to there, get that. And uh, again, you know, I'll probably just pick back up on this tomorrow and give my next update. And uh, that's basically it for today. I gotta say, I'm a little impressed though that the traffic is not that bad in the other industrial part of this town it's a lot worse here not too bad still sunny uh 69 degrees now you can tell like i'm sweating i don't know if you can see that uh but yeah i mean it's a very nice day i would encourage people to get out just you know definitely keep practicing the social distancing get your vitamin d when I say get out, I don't mean like go to like public events. Don't go to anything with a large crowd. Just maybe stretch your legs, you know? The stores, they're always going to be crazy during times like this, especially, you know, small town stuff. I say it all the time on my streams and everything. And again, you know, I'm going to keep those up still. I've been saying that throughout this long video <laughs> montage collage. Fromage. I, I, did, I made that up. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I'm going to stop it here, but definitely, I'm mean, a little impressed. A lot of people aren't doing a social distancing thing. A lot of people are wearing gloves. A lot of people are wearing face masks. Uh, they said that, you know, the CDC reported that that's not going to keep you safe wearing a mask and glove, but people are taking the extra precautions, using a lot of public germex. But again, you know, overall, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's it's bad in some places. Some things were sold out. I went down the uh, the Asian food aisle, well, ethnic food aisle really, because they had it, it's a slurry of Hispanic, Asian, and uh, different style of foods there, and eh, it was mostly picked clean. First time I'd ever thought I would see that, except for like tortillas. Still, tortillas, people are just avoiding. Uh, I heard rice and beans is a big thing people are getting. I didn't really look. I've got plenty of rice at home, thankfully. So. I did get the things that I needed and a few things that I, I didn't even know that I would want or need. Uh, I got some really awesome cheese on sale as well that I was super stoked about. Also picked up Stacy some, got uh, some organic chips for her son. He can't have like Red Dot 40. So we've been getting him these organic Doritos. Doritos are one of his favorite chips and they were on sale. A lot of organic foods are on sale right now as well. Who would have known? People don't want to eat healthy during the pandemic. but. Hey, it was a decent run, and again, I'm fairly impressed with how things went, and I'll pick this back up tomorrow. So, this is the last of this whole, uh, this week's vlog, so to speak. It's been quite a journey. If there's anything I gotta take away from it, is I am not used to having this much free time on my hands. Uh, I went out today, I got some rent, Today, yesterday, actually, I ended up breaking down and getting Taco Bell, which I don't regret at all. I've been wanting Taco Bell. I've talked about it a lot throughout this whole 
blog experience. And, uh, you know, gonna probably do another one next week if I, in fact, do not have to work, or don't get to work, rather, next week. So we'll see on that, but hopefully I'll get to. Um, but if not, I'll do another one of these. I didn't actually stream last night, and I'm not going to tonight, or tomorrow. Tonight, I'm gonna be dropping this video, which I'm actually excited about. I haven't really done a week vlog before, and it was fun doing it. Would enjoy doing more in the future. And tomorrow, as long as things do go well, I'm gonna be trying to get a tasting with Humbles in there. I'm on the teeter of which way I wanna do it, and what I actually want to do. Um, I think I've already got what I'm going to do in mind, but we'll see. And you'll see tomorrow, as long as I can actually drop it and get everything in order to do so. Things are going to be a little tricky. Uh, today actually is the first day of the shelter in place that goes into effect in about two and a half hours. So it's going to be more of a how well I can do things and how well I can procure certain items and just to go about doing things. Uh, luckily I have all the time in the world here to do it so that's not the issue but it's more so about getting the items to do so. But be that as it, <laughs> be that as it may, I'm gonna be doing what I can and uh, again I'll be back to the streams on Sunday for everybody that's been on that. This coming week is gonna be so busy with so many different games coming out next week. I'm really excited for it. We've got so much going on. And if you watch the streams, hopefully you'll be excited for that as well. And I'm gonna be doing more of these vlogs though. So if that's what you're into as well, and maybe you're new to the channel, or if you're even not new to the channel, be sure to leave that like, comment, subscribe, if you haven't done that already. And uh, hopefully you can keep following me along with doing a lot of these. Uh, got a lot of time on all of our hands, so. I'll be trying to make it as entertaining as possible and hopefully doing more along the way as well. But till next time, take it easy. Thanks for watching.